Cinderella's pumpkin, okay. Hey guys, it's Pachi Star, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Cinderella transformation. Today, uh, Cinderella Cinderella uh, meets Liberace. If you guys are too young to know who that is, uh, look him up, he is fabulous. So story about this look, I found this fabric in downtown Los Angeles. Isn't it gorgeous? I can't tell if it's purple or if it's blue, but it intrigued me. It's kind of gives me like an indigo vibe, but without that being said, there is so much texture. I have these rhinestones, I have sequins, I have spandex. So speaking of all this texture, Texture, it is everywhere except for my face. In today's video, I have partnered with Ula Henriksen to show you guys one of their newest face masks on the market today. But before we begin, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, let's get started. This video is all about the new, new. We got Miss Jackie, and we got Miss Tyra Grath. We got Ula, oh, I need to do this first. We got, um, Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath again. Oh, and we got this beautiful Stila something blue color. Let's just do it. Look at my skin. I have been working on my skin so, 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 so hard. And you guys know I have facial hair, I have pores, I have acne, I have underbags, uh, the whole nine. And I am obsessed with this fat facial. I just want to show you guys the box. This is the box right here. This is amazing on the skin. This is an at-home facial, and it comes out pink. This is the Fat Glow Facial by Ulla Henriksen, and to activate it, you gotta make it turn white on the face. And you'll leave this on for 15 minutes, and if you guys don't know about PHAs and AHAs, don't worry, uh, these PHAs are so good for your skin. If you guys have suffered from acne or wrinkles or discoloration or anything, brands like Ola Henriksen really, really put a lot into their products to make it work. You can feel the tingling sensation. This is really good for you. If you guys didn't see my nighttime routine, I use this toner called Glow to O Toner with the night cream, and those have AHAs. AHAs are alpha hydroxy acids, which are a combination of lactic and glycolic, which essentially make a chemical uh, exfoliation on the skin. This one kind of does the same thing, but this one is fatter molecules, hence the PHA. And PHA are polyhydroxy acids, and they give less irritation to the skin for those of you that are sensitive. It's uh, kind of similar to the Baby Facial by Drunk Elephant, but it's way, way better because this one is available in Canada as well, and I love it. And it just makes my skin glow the next day. If I wanna have a beat face, if I have a meetup, if I have a party, I have an event tomorrow, which is why I'm doing it today, but literally I could feel it tingling all over my skin. But I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes, and I'll be right back um, to wash it off. All right, guys, my skin is so smooth. Literally, do you guys see? Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. Guys, my hyperpigmentation here is real, right here at the pores, but just by feeling it, it feels so smooth. So again, if you guys have fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, literally brightens and softens the skin even better the day after. So if you guys are interested in trying the Ola Henriksen Fat Glow Facial, be sure to check it out at Sephora and OlaHenriksen.com. All right, guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and try the new New Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer. These names keep getting longer and longer, but for Pat McGrath, anything. This is actually pretty beautiful. There's an eye booger, gross. It's like a velvety matte primer, and I tried it at her launch party instantly. You can see it just blurring the skin. I don't know how well you can, it smells really good. I can't tell if that's from the Fat Club Facial or from this. Both smell really, really, really good, and it's so good, and I really don't have a shadow of a doubt that Pemagrath slayed this product. So next, I'm gonna try the new foundation. This is a pretty natural foundation. It's a beautiful finish, but you guys know I do require lots of coverage, so let me just try it just to show you guys. This one is the uh, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation in the color Medium 15, and I'm using it with a brush. Gorgeous. This is more like a foundation if I were just to be out so people be like oh my god your skin looks good like this is just one of those for me because i'm obviously not a supermodel born with like perfect skin i can still see like my grays and obviously 
my hyperpigmentation here. So for this full glam look, I think I am gonna have to go ahead and go back and layer more foundation. But for the most part, it looks beautiful. It's also really freaking cool that David LaChapelle shot the campaign and also Sandra Deluxe and Violet Tchotchke were in the campaign too. That's really, really, really beautiful. But you can see my skin, like there's no acne today, <laughs> but it's really beautiful what the Fat Glow Facial does. And I really encourage you guys, if you guys are struggling with acne or pimples or pores or all the above, definitely look into investing in your skincare because it's way better than getting Botox and filler like skincare you, you have control over. I'm gonna try a little bit of a darker shade, medium 18 in my hands to see. Oh, this coverage is so much better with my hands. So Pat McGrath, when I saw her makeup artist using it, she most definitely used her hands. So, and I actually fancy this method better with this foundation. So nice. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and fill my brows with the Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. I cannot use 4.5 because it's a little bit too gray on my skin tone. So this is like that nice, perfect brown for me. And I'm just gonna lightly fill them in like I normally do. All right guys, I'm actually like in love with the skin and it's not so heavy. Next, I just concealed my brows and I'm taking my paint pot and call Laying Low. I'm just applying this as my eye base. This is just one of my favorite eye bases. I don't know why no one talks about it. It's just a classic and it just makes my eyeshadows look amazing. All right guys, so next I'm gonna take my favorite concealer ever. This is the Boing Cakeless Concealer. Y'all know I announced this on my channel. I'm gonna use the shade number five and apply this right here under my eyes. It's like industrial, it stays, it brightens, and it doesn't crease at all. It's really, really sickening. There's so much new, new out. I'm using a new foundation, new concealer. Not my brows, but just, you know, there's just some things you just gotta keep. Next, I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just go ahead and pounce this in to my skin. It just melts away. All right guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Pat McGrath Loose Powder. This is in the shade Light Medium 2. And I'm just gonna go ahead and set like I normally do. Let's see how this powder really is. Y'all know I am a stickler with powder. So far, it feels really, really light. So next to set the rest of my face, I'm gonna go ahead and take a brush and just, just buff it in. All right, guys, this is the foundation and the powder alone. I just wanna stop right here and just tell you guys, it is a little bit of a lighter foundation. It's nice for like every day on camera. It probably does look a little bit more full coverage, but for me, I love a little bit. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just add a little bit of my foundation powder on top. See, just a little bit of foundation powder is just gonna give me that extra coverage that I need. When I tell you I'm obsessed with foundation powder, like if I could create a product, foundation powder would be in my brand because I just, I think everyone could use it. It's so versatile and I love it. And the one that I'm using here is the Double Wear Powder by Estee Lauder. And for my under eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and take, I'm doing my makeup a little bit backwards today, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Born This Way powder. And then just go ahead and highlight under here. Now that is the coverage that mama likes. But can we talk about the skin? Uh, this makes me a little bit mad because you could still see my uh, mustache here, but that's like me for not color correcting, but we'll make it work. That's why me as an influencer, I think is the hardest part about my job because it's like we have to, we have not because we have to review things, but it's like, you know, I know what I like. And then when I want to share what I want to share, it's like not what I want to share because it's like, it doesn't work for me. But this is a beautiful foundation for people with less textured skin with less uh, porous skin than me. This is for pretty much people with perfect skin. I would use this literally on a day, daytime basis. I like it, like the texture is great. It's just the color right here. I, I look like a hobo clown right here. It's not working. All right guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful palette by Jackie. This is her collab with Anastasia. This is her year, her palette. Her engagement, oh my gosh, everything, everything, everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take Ginger right here and apply this right in my crease. This is such a beautiful color. It looks a lot more red 
or orange in the palette, but it's a pretty refined version. It's not as warm, so this is a great neutral for those deeper tones in the eye. And can we talk about all these names in the palette? This one, Lituation, Credit, Sponsor, Dwalas, Edges, Big Wig, Trust Issues, Shookington, Pinker, Supreme, Wigglies, <laughs> Zam, and Soleil. All right, next is the new new. This is Stila's brand new suede shade liquid eyeshadow. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this on my lid. It is called Something Blue and it matches my outfit perfectly. Look how beautiful this is. Suede shades. It's like that beautiful, I don't know what to call it, pewter blue. Oh my God. Such a mod 70s blue and it matches my outfit Perfectly. So next I'm just gonna take an empty brush and just pat this out and blend it up. All right, so this is my favorite certified Tropical Wonders palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful blue right here. If you guys do not have this palette, Oh my gosh, I will link it down below. It's Certified Tropical Wonders palette. It's been very much loved, especially during my drag series. I'm gonna go ahead and take this beautiful color, Coast, like I just say it, and apply this just on top of that eye base. Oh, so pretty. Next, I'm gonna take this deeper shade called Atlantic and take the other side of my Marfa brush, the M433, and do this on the outer half. All right, to mention, we out here. We out here. All right, guys, so next, I'm gonna take this Anastasia glitter adhesive and put it on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and take Reflex Pearl from MAC, one of the best glitters on planet Earth and apply this towards like the, the center of the lid. It's like right here. All right, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my Benefit Roller Liner and apply this on the line, the lash line. Right guys, next is mascara. This is my favorite. This one is the Extended Play Perm Me Up. Literally so, so good. All right guys, next apply the longest lashes that you can find. I don't even know this name, but it's so cute. Wow, these are, these are long. They're so pretty. I love this look. All right, next I'm gonna go and take my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder and just powder the rest. I love this powder so much. It's literally what the name says. It's an airbrush finish look. So I'm just gonna do that. And then we're gonna apply one of my favorite blushes. Her name, what's her name? Her name is Peaches. She is right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this right here. Now for bronzer, I'm gonna go ahead and take Dark Deep by MAC. It's a mineralized skin finish. I'm just gonna go ahead and etch out these cheeks, okay? If you guys have a bronzer recommendation, let me know down below because it's kind of hard for me to find Something that I like that works for me that's in my skin tone because I like to look really, really warm, AKA orange, but it works for me because my skin tone's like right in between. You know what I just realized? I am so surprised I did not use a puff today. Who am I? So if you're getting fully glam this stage in the game, I like to cut my cheeks right here, just like so. And then I like to call what's reinforcing. So all the powders that I put under my face, on my eyes, the middle of my forehead, I'm gonna take that same Pat McGrath powder and just reinforce. Next, I'm gonna take my bronzer right here called Give Me Life, this literally gives me life. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this right here on this brush, this iconic London brush, and go down the nose. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take this black pencil and just line it under the eyes. Ooh, it's gonna look so sickening. Next, I'm gonna take some of that blue shadow and just go ahead and smudge under the eye. What's an eye look without bottom mascara? So do not forget the bottom. Ah, so cute. All right guys, so next I'm gonna go ahead and take my favorite lip combo ever right now. I use this in my Hot Girl Summer look. It is Hover by MAC. It is Mary J. Blige from MAC, uh, her lipstick in the color French Silk. And it is the KKW Radiant Lip Gloss. It is so beautiful. And last but not least, I'm gonna go ahead and take my All Nighter and Spray. Wow, the skin looks good. I will go ahead and change and I'll be right back for the finished look. 
All right, everyone, this is the finished look. I am obsessed. It is so glamorous. This blue is everything. I am obsessed with this look. The lashes, the snatchery, the color, all the products will be listed down below. And most of all, this fabric. Shout out to the fabric. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys love this fabric and this look as much as I do. If you guys want to see more looks like this, be sure to go ahead and click this video right here. And click, 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 click. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.